Most students will start with a research question that piques their interest. More than likely, this is going to be a bad research question for your professor, who will tell you it's too broad or general, but you know that already, right? Here are just a few examples. Do girls think differently from boys? Are the gorges causing students to commit suicide? Why are there more concussions in football? Let's take this one question, do girls think differently than boys? Are you going to talk about all girls on this planet? All ages? What do you mean by different in terms of the way girls think to do math and reading comprehension to solve relationship problems? And of course the same questions come up if we're going to look at boys. Okay, so now you know these are bad research questions. However, you still want to know how boys and girls think differently because that's where your level of understanding is right now. You don't know how to narrow it down yet. The way to narrow down your research question is to see what others have done with it. How have they narrowed it? For this, I'm going to ask Google the question. Do girls think differently than boys? What I can learn from Google just by reading the search result titles from the first two to three pages, I can see that there's information about learning differences between boys and girls. There's information on gender myths and stereotypes. I found some information on the differences in brain development. Each of these subtopics gives me an idea about how to focus my research question. Before I pursue one of these paths, it's important to write down some of these key words that you see here on the search results page. This is something that students never do, even if they're told to do it. However, these same students complain that they can't find anything on their topic within the library website or Google Scholar. Either write the words down with pencil or paper, or highlight the words and copy and paste them into Word, Notepad, or Evernote. The next thing to do is either revise your research question and paste that into Google Scholar. You can also use a phrase like brain development in adolescent boys and adolescent girls. I write my revised research question into Google Scholar and click search. As you can see there are quite a few sources here about sex differences in the brain amongst girls and boys. My next option is to go to my library homepage, click on databases, and look for Academic Search Premier. This is also known as EBSCOhost. And then I can type my keywords here. So I'm going to write brain development and adolescent boys and adolescent girls. Then click search. There you go. Either within Google Scholar or EBSCOhost, you can find some peer-reviewed journal articles and credible source information. Let's review for a minute. It's okay to start with a bad question. It indicates what are your interests. Use a search engine like Google to learn about the range of this topic and all the subtopics. This is how you begin to narrow your topic. Write down keywords because library databases are dependent on good keywords. Take your keywords into Google Scholar and the library website. Here's some tips for keywords. Use AND or the plus sign when you want a web page to include both words. For example, girls and boys. Use the word NOT or the negative sign when you want to exclude a word from a web page. For example, I want girls, not women, and not women. And finally, when you cannot find what you're looking for, then don't give up. That just means you need to contact a librarian to help you find this information. They have expert knowledge of databases, journals, and search engines, so they're our greatest resource.